What's up, guys? Coming to you. Want to talk to you about the Walmart comic books? First off, in just uh, about an hour, Lewis and I are going to do a video, and it's probably going to be live. So, uh, if it's not live, we'll post it tonight. If it is live, we'll be live, so you can jump on there. But <clears throat> on to the video. I wanted to confess that Walmart beat me. They won. I lost. I've been saying for a while that I wasn't going to get it, but all of that changed when I went to Walmart today to get uh, groceries. I looked. I was like, okay, well, I'll peek through them because I found where they had them. And uh, they they know my kryptonite. They, they, they beat me. Um, I was under the impression that it was mostly going to be Superman and Batman. Well, it's a whole bunch of stuff. They got Justice League, Batman, Superman, and, of course, Teen Titans. So, yeah. And it's <laughs> and it's the good ones, too. It's uh, Starfire, Robin, Cyborg, Beast Boy. Uh, we got Raven, although I haven't really seen Cyborg in, uh, in it yet. But I only read one issue. I read issue three because that's the only one they had. And then they had six and seven. I haven't read these yet. So, Walmart knew my weakness. Uh, it's the Teen Titans. I didn't buy any of the others. I just got Teen Titans. Um, I don't really care about the Superman or the Batman enough to worry about those. Besides, I think that's Bendis and uh, King, two of the guys that I just don't really care at this point. Um, but this, oh, and, and to add insult to injury, Dan Jurgens wrote... Write this. So a couple of things. I thought this was going to be like a one big story, but it's actually four comic books. And there's a problem. Three of them are reprints. They that, they trick me. They got three reprints. The worst part is I have all three of those comic books. I have all of this except for the Dan Jurgens story that's brand new. So for $15 right there, I get basically like 30 pages of Dan Jurgen. So, you know, Dan Jurgen's awesome, and it's Teen Titans, so I'm willing to pay a little bit extra for the, the original team, and, uh, well, basically, and I'll talk about that in a minute. And I have other comic books, you know, I can, uh, uh, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I won't read the others, because I've read them. <laughs> I've already read the, uh, so... This has, uh, I'm assuming that they're all going to be the same. It's got the reprinting Teen Titans, uh, which is Jeff Johns. Let me see if I can't find it. It's in here somewhere. Um, it should, should say, I think it's the Jeff Johns run, but I could be wrong. Um. Maybe I'll say it up here. Um, there we go. Uh, okay, no, no, it doesn't say. Anyway, so it's got Teen Titans run. I think it's Jeff Johns. If I'm not mistaken, it might be the series before Jeff Johns. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it is. It's the, I think it's the one right after Young Justice. And then it's got Super Sons, which is a really great series. So if you haven't read that, you know, here's an easy way to get it. Plus, you're getting three other comics. So, if you if you're not me and you haven't gotten all those, it's worth it. And they got Sideways, so they're reprinting Sideways in here. Although I'm curious because they just canceled Sideways. I'm pretty sure what they're gonna do after they reach that issue where it dropped, where it got canceled. So, pretty interesting that it's got Sideways in there. Um, did the others? I didn't. I didn't look. I'm guessing so. Yep. Yeah. So all of them have sideways in here. Um, so that's going to be an interesting dilemma for them to solve. But the Dan Jurgens is really good. Really, really good. Um, so it's really short, which is sad. There's one complaint that I have. One complaint. And that is... It's Tim Drake. <laughs> what? It's it's Tim Drake. 
Tim Drake is leading the new Teen Titans. Now given, Wally's not there, and Dick is not there, and Donna is not there. So, theoretically, it could be supposed to take place after um, some of their adventures. Uh, maybe while uh, Dick Grayson moves off to become Nightwing. So, potentially, we say canonically, they take a break, Tim Drake takes over for Dick Grayson. Um, so, maybe, you know. So, I was I was a little, I mean, I'm not going to complain because I love uh, Tim, but uh, it didn't make any sense to me why Tim Drake would be in the in this version. I mean, they're, they're, they're printing a version of Tim Drake in the Teen Titans here. It just makes no sense. They've got, see right here, they've got Bart Allen, they've got Connor Kent, uh, yeah, 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 they've got uh, Tim Drake, they've got the Young Justice Trinity right there, so it's just like, and they got Cassie too, um, Young Justice really has a, whatever a four Trinity would be, um, quadri, quadri, I don't know. I don't know how you'd say it. It's got all of them in there. So you got Tim Drake. You also have Damian Wayne back here. Let's see if I can find him. Because it's a big book. You got Damian Wayne back here. And this is actually, interestingly, the weird Teen Titans. Ugh. And then uh, you could have had uh, Dick Grayson right up here in the front. Could have just had Dick Grayson right here. Instead of Tim. Why? But I love Dan Jurgens. He's one of my favorite writers right now. And uh, probably of all time. So I'm not going to complain too much. But I just want to let y'all know. I broke down. I couldn't do it. My The only reason I, I did. the com My new comic book store owner. He buys them. Not all of them. But some of them. And... Uh, but he sells them for $10. I was like... I mean, to be honest, I was looking for Superman number 7. Because, you know, it's worth money. <laughs> uh, and, and they didn't have it, of course. Of course not. Um, so, there's that. But, um... So, I was looking for Superman number 7. He sells them for $10, even though they're 5. Because he wants to make some money off of it. So, he goes and buys them from Walmart. Brings them and sells them. Um, which, you know, is a brilliant idea, but, uh, I wasn't going to pay $10 for one of these books, especially now that I know that they're just reprints. Now, I imagine if, for me, since I don't have a whole bunch of the other stuff, I could go to, like, Superman and Batman and get a new story and some old reprints. That might be worth it, you know? Uh, and I bet you, this is a good idea, DC. It's a really good idea. You get some old, um, honestly, I don't know why they don't just do this. In comic books or like at comic book stores because we'd buy it you know because especially new it would attract new readers yeah I've never uh, read this series before um, I'll buy you know and now I, I can read the old series as if it's happening now so that's you know that's really cool um, but uh, but yeah I I'm all for, you know, helping out the local comic book store. I'd rather them be sold at, at the comic book stores rather than Walmart, but whatever. Whatever. So, that's what it is. It, the, the, new, it, the new story, like I said, it's like 10 pages max. And, uh, and that's it. The rest of the 100 pages are old stories. So, they're not... They're not new stories, they're old. So you're really paying $5 for a brand new story if you've never read the old ones, at least in the Teen Titans. I don't know what the others are like, but I'm bet you, I bet you it's exactly the same. They're just reprinting old old comics. So those are my thoughts on that. Um, there's, there's one implication that I'm going to make another video about here in a second. 
Uh, but let me know what you think. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to join the family, have uh, join the conversation. Uh, leave me a comment. I'd love to talk to you about what you think. Um, give me a like if you like this video, and I will catch you next time. Peace.